Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, lots of information came out of GDC last week and I was very impressed with what I saw. Now, I saw some cloud gaming demos and devices that will launch later this year. Now, the latency was insane with no perceivable input lag. Now, I'll touch on that later on next week in a different video. Today, I want to talk about Microsoft DirectX Ray Tracing and the future of gaming. Now, Microsoft is partnering with NVIDIA to create an industry standard API designed specifically around interactive real-time ray tracing. Now they're calling this RTX and it will be a set of software and hardware algorithms designed to accelerate ray tracing on NVIDIA Volta architecture. Now RTX and DXR should enable developers to make incredible leaps forward in terms of real-time ray tracing. Now some may be wondering what is ray tracing and what does it do? Now ray tracing is a rendering technique for generating an image by tracing the path of light as pixels in an image plane and simulating the effects in encounters with virtual objects. So in layman terms, you get a lot more realism as it can accurately recreate a real world image and the light properties of it. Currently, games use rasterization to achieve lifelike graphics. However, for games to take a leap forward in realism, a new method needs to be deployed. Now, rasterization just can't handle the real life properties of light, and this is where DirectX ray tracing comes into play. Now, ray tracing, although not a new technique, has been held back by most GPUs' computation levels. Now, the GTX 1080 Ti and the Vegas GPUs have a much higher computation level than past GPUs. Now, Microsoft's DXR is capable of running on any DirectX 12 compatible graphics card, and some games will even see some support later this year. Now, AMD is also working on ray tracing with Microsoft, and they actually released an official statement. They stated that AMD is collaborating with Microsoft to help define, refine, and support the future of DX12 ray tracing. Now, AMD remains at the forefront of new programming models and application programming interface, innovations based on forward-looking system-level foundation for graphics programming. We're looking forward to discussing with game developers their ideas and feedbacks related to PC-based ray tracing techniques for image quality, effects, opportunities, and performance. Now this story I really want to concentrate on NVIDIA's partnership with Microsoft. Now NVIDIA's RTX is only enabled on Volta and forward GPUs. Now this next video that I'm showing you has RTX in motion on a Volta GPU. Now this represents the future of how games will be rendered and as you can see it looks like it's straight out of the movie. Now this was done in real time using two Volta GPUs linked together. Now each of these GPUs cost $3,000 a piece. So don't expect this level of detail on the consumer end for quite a few years. Now I do find it exciting to see video games approaching a completely photorealistic level of rendering. Now I'm gonna play a little of Nvidia's press conference describing this new technique and the graphic cards used to produce these amazing results. What you just saw was completely rendered in real time. Now let's show it to you. But to really show them off, we need to bring in something even more shiny. This light is bouncing all over the place as it strikes these surfaces, figures out what the rendering equation is at that moment as it strikes that surface, accumulates it for the entire scene with all of these billions and billions of rays. Ladies and gentlemen, everything that you're seeing here is completely in real time. It's completely in real time, and it's running on one, one DGX station. What makes this special is for the very first time, we can bring real-time ray tracing to the market. You are also seeing deep learning in action. Without deep learning, it would be impossible to have traced all of those rays. Now the new Metro game will also be using RTX. Now it's being showcased right now in this video and I have to say it's exciting that some games will start using this feature later this year. Now I would not expect current GPUs to fully implement this. They may be able to achieve better results with ambient occlusion, reflection and shadows. But the current consoles just don't have the computational power to do it. But the next gen tech is where ray tracing will really take off. Now I would expect the next Xbox and PlayStation to incorporate 
operate this technology as AMD's next architecture should have support for it and of course Volta and the future Nvidia GPUs. Gaming in my opinion has been stagnant for quite some time, same games with a different color paint. Ray tracing will truly bring gaming forward by leaps and bounds. Now 3 years from now I expect all games to be using ray tracing, so the future looks very bright for gaming and I can't wait for the next generation of games to start. Anyways I'd like to know your thoughts on ray tracing and if you're excited to see it come to future games. Now leave your comments down below and like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.